Hello everyone, welcome back to Pokemon Hardcore version. In the last episode, we went through to the Dragon's Den and got the 8th Gym Leader off Claire. Finally, she realised, you know, not only can we beat her in a battle, we can beat her in a Dragon's Quiz. And uh, yeah, we got the final Gym Badge of the Jotar region, the Rising Badge. As well as evolving Manny into Mamoswine last episode. And we got really close to evolving Rush. So, just before we do the main thing of this episode, we're going to evolve Rush. Also, last time we went and got the Master Ball back in New Bark Town from Professor Elm. So, yep. We can catch any Pokemon without fail if it ever, you know, comes down to it. <laughs> But yeah, Rush is less than 200 XP off evolving, so... Yeah, alright, one more. <laughs> one more wild Pokemon, that'll do it. Alright, we got a Pidgeotto, more of a challenge. Come on, Rush! I said last time I didn't want to evolve it against some wild Pokemon, but... You know, we, we did actually run out of time in yes, uh, last episode, but you know what? Let's just do it now. There we go. This is the reason we don't want to. We didn't want to evolve Rush until now. Flamethrower. Honestly, I would have been so like. I guess I've never said this word, but gobsmacked. <laughs> if we didn't have this move right here, and Bulbapedia and Cerebi and everything was lying to us. But yeah, I want to make sure I don't accidentally, you know, cancel here. Yeah. The boy scorched with an intense blast of fire. The target might also be left with a burn. The best fire type move. One of the best. Uh, but yeah, we're getting rid of Flying Wheel as Fire Fang does more damage. Has a chance of flinching and everything. But you might be like, what? Rush didn't evolve. Uh oh, don't worry. Here it is. It's time. Let's go. We've been holding on to this item for a while. I was going to say, I actually couldn't find it then, but here we go. What? Rush is evolving? It is finally time to evolve our final team member. Well, the final Pokemon. He wasn't actually our final team member. He was the fifth team member, but still, you know what I mean. Congratulations, your Rush evolved into Arcanine, and he looks so cool. Woo but, the main thing we do in this episode, and Jesus, Rush, you look awesome. Which is holding something. Can we take it? Sure thing. The yellow flower. Thank you, Rush. So, the main thing we're doing in this episode is the Equitique Dance Theatre. Last time, the professor told us to come back here. And you want to go be prepared. Make sure all your Pokemon are healed up. Because you're going to regret it if they aren't. How? How is this possible? How can I lose to Mira Kimono Girls? You were watching me, Jamie. Yeah, that's right. I never thought defeating five Kimono Girls would be so hard. I got beaten to a pulp. You must have come here for the same reason, right? Don't get cocky just because you defeated Team Rocket. These Kimono Girls are insanely strong. Go ahead, see if you can defeat them. But... I'm not going back. I don't want to see you win. So yeah, as Marlon just said, we've got to take down five Kimono Girls. This is going to be an insane challenge. Welcome, my name is Zuki. I met you previously in Violet City. In order to bring back ho we need someone with the right bond with Pokemon. We asked Mr. Pokemon to give this mystery egg to whoever showed true potential. The egg was eventually handed from Mr. Pokemon to Professor Elm and then to you. However, being pure alone will not be sufficient to face the power of this Pokemon. I must test you. Are you ready? I hope so. Let's do this. I will test how closely you've been bonded with your Pokemon. It's time. Yep. So here, we have the first five Kimono Girls, which all have... An evolution 
all of them at this point, except obviously Glaceon and Leafeon, because, you know, this was originally you know, Johto and they came out in Sinnoh, but yeah. Oh, we have to take them in five Kimono Girls, and they all have one Eevee each, so there's no healing in between, which honestly makes this a lot harder. But yeah, there we go with um, Flying Thrower, but Umbreon's defenses are just that good, so we're actually going to switch out. Uh... I'm gonna switch into um you know what? We got focus punch last time. I might do the hypnosis focus punch kind of business. <laughs> yeah, there we go, dark on fighting, not gonna be uh you know, not gonna do too much. Unless it goes through confused, right? That's that is not good. Well knock a fist, I believe in you! Okay, <laughs> never mind. We, did, we didn't get through, but yeah, that's just... Why confusion is so annoying? Hey, there we go. Snap that confusion already. And the hypnosis lands. Well done, Aqua Fist. Now that the Umbreon is, is asleep, not going to be able to distract us. It is time to release the Focus Punch. There we go, well done Aquafist, 150 power right there. That is going to be literally like the main like fighting move we're going to be using on our entire team, right there with Aquafist. Yeah, fighting type move, not just fighting move, whatever. <laughs> you are quite strong, you helped me in the Ilex Forest. My name is Naoko, I'm the one that's not so good at directions. My eyes witnessed you defeating Team Rocket when Kurt was in trouble at the Slowpoke Well. And I'm going to challenge you and your Pokemon. So yeah, if you couldn't guess already, all these Kimono girls are the same that have, you know, we've seen throughout our adventure. And we're versing them in the order that we first met them in. Um, you know, you know, Rush can't actually do too much against these Beamfire type. Um, you know, we're not going to get the super effective uh, touch on them. <laughs> You know, these evolutions are incredibly strong, and I, I don't want to just, uh, just faint. So, I'm gonna switch out. Um, you know, let's go to Nightwing. Actually, that was stupid. <laughs> Espeon's just gonna use Psychic now and just wipe out Nightwing, most like. Ooh, okay, now we want the Swift. Uh, Espeon, I said before, was originally gonna be the final team member, but was gonna be the fifth. Because, you know, basically instead of Manny, it's going to be uh, Espeon, and I hadn't thought of Rush yet, so yeah. You know what? Oh, I was going to say, I thought we'd be faster. Sorry, Nightwing, that was really stupid of me switching into you, but... Yeah, I was originally going to go with, like, Bite, but whatever. Uh... Yeah, we... I don't know, we, we don't really have much for dealing with Psychic types, really. Um, but oh well. Let's go for the avalanche. Come on, Manny. Yeah, I'm just showing off all the moves. And oh my god. S really? You want to get a crit? Really? Okay. Wow. Um, I guess go for Green Giant. Um, time to release the beast. <laughs> This is the move that your starter is able to get. Frenzy Plant, Hydro Cannon, and Blast Burn. It'll do 150 power, I believe, or 120, but you'll have to recharge afterwards, but because, you know, it's the final turn of the battle, there isn't any recharging for us. Oh, you are truly strong. Beep, 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 beep. You are quite the trainer. I remember you chasing off that Team Rocket Grunt from right here. I must thank you for that. Although I am actually a trainer myself, she who knows the most speaks the least. I am Miki, the Kimono Girl. Let me to challenge you and your Pokemon. Let's go. Now, these are going to be a bit easier with fire, water, and grass. But, you know what? We're going to actually... Let's heal up. Um, no, not grass. Fire, water, and electric. 
I'm gonna go here at Green Joy and we're just gonna fight it out. But our final three Pokemon will be super effective um, on the Kimono Girls last Pokemon. But if this doesn't take us out, A! Reversal is the fighting type version of Flyle, so. Okay, I was gonna say, did we really just touch that? But you know what, Rush? Well done! You kept yourself alive, let's do this. We'll heal you up as well. It just shows how good uh, Rush's physical defense really is. I didn't realize. You know what, this Flareon probably has a flash fire, so let's not hit, hit it with the, uh, uh, with a fire type attack. It'll, uh, raise up its, I think it raises its, uh, special, like, it just raises its pair of its fighting type attacks. That's it. So, but it'll do nothing to it, so. Yeah, also with, the next Pokemon will probably be Vaporeon, it's either Vaporeon or Jolteon, I can't remember the order. It makes more sense to me if Espeon and Umbreon were last, considering they came out in this generation. Like, but whatever. Excellent, Fighting Spirit. You got me off the ice by pushing me from the back. I am the one who skates in sand scandal sandals. <laughs> I am Seo, the Kimono Girl. I was listening in the Dragon's Den when you passed the test of the Elder. Allow me to challenge you and your Pokemon. These Kimono Girls hear and see everything. That's not creepy at all, but come on, girl, say oh. Yeah, alright. Jolty arm. Maybe one of the two. <laughs> Pretty obvious, really. We're fighting all the evolutions. Yep. Obviously, we've seen by now they already have good enough to do this. Go. Um. Let's go for Billy here. We could kind of revive Manny, but you know what? We got a better idea. <laughs> Billy is gonna kill itself for this Jolteon to die. There we go. <laughs> Jolteon goes down. And so does Kimono Girl say. Oh, so close, I almost had you. Oh, did you? I am the last one. You were so dependable at the Golden Rod Tunnel. I am the one who t t twirls even underground. I am Cooney, the Kimono Girl. I looked at you in wonder when you thwart thwarted Team Rocket's mission to take over the radio tower. You must show your strength to me now. Let me to challenge you and your Pokemon. So yeah, it's not in order. I did realise uh, on the previous Kimono Girl here, but whatever. You know what, we're going to finish this Vaporeon with our final two Pokemon. See if you know what the plan's actually gonna be. So, Vaporeon's going for the Aurora Beam. Come on, can we please hit the. Yeah! We haven't been using Hypnosis as much until now, but yeah, trust me, now we've got Focus Punch, we'll be using it a lot more often. And uh, here we go. Switching into Green Giant here. No, uh, we could go for Petal Dance, but screw it. Let's go. <laughs> Frenzy Plant it is. Oh, I actually survived. <laughs> oh, no, it has like... Actually, I think Vaporeon actually has the most health out of all evolutions. But yeah, that recharge is going to do nothing to us. And we're going to finish it off with the Petal Dance. There we go. That only is Vaporeon going down. But so is the Kimono Girl and Green Giant gets to level 37. Oh, you are wonderful. Why, thank you. We were not wrong about you. You're indeed worthy of this. Please take it. You get the clear bell, depending on your version. If you're in this game, you'll get the clear bell. In the other game, you'll get the silver wing. I'm pretty sure. I th actually, no. You get that early one. Whatever. Big sisters! I just saw the big shadow of a Pokemon over the bell tower. It could be. 
Jamie will be at the bell tower. See you there. But yeah. This was probably like 10 minutes long as that's all we're actually doing for this episode. Yep. Next time we'll be doing the version exclusive of the game. And yeah. Sorry if you're playing Soul Silver. I'm not going to be showing off, you know, your legendary and how to get to it. I'm sure there'll be like another Let's Player doing that or something. But yeah. Next episode, we're going up the Bell Tower and fighting the legendary Pokemon Howl. If you're excited for that, let me know. And I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.